Hey girl, hey, and welcome back to another segment here on Girlfriend Unwrapped. Today I am creating this pink Himalayan salt bath. And now, if you're new to this channel, or if this is your first time stumbling across my bath videos, then I suggest you smash that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button and share this video with your family or friends. I want to tell you, I love all the benefits of this pink Himalayan salt bath, and I'm sure once you've created it for yourself, you will too. So stick around while we get into this simple tutorial. Let's go. Okay, so first we're going to fill our tub with water and keep in mind that you want the temperature to be to your liking. I like mine piping hot. Okay, so while that water is running, I will begin to decorate the outer edges of the tub. And you'll see I have some votive candle holders and just cute little signs that say you look beautiful today. Um, I want the environment surrounding the tub, the, the outer edge, to just be really pretty, really girly, um, and create an environment, an atmosphere that is very important. So you'll see me using different candles and you'll also see me just continue to line the tub with my favorite flowers. And I'm using plastic flowers. You don't have to use, um, you know, real flowers. Like that's not realistic to me to always use real flowers. So yeah, feel free to use what you have in your house. Really cute, really dainty. Now you'll see I have my Himalayan pink salt and this is the star of my bath. Um, Himalayan pink salt does so many wonderful things. It aids in air purification, it lowers blood pressure, it increases hydration, it helps to balance your pH. Um, it also is a natural detox. And so I love this salt because it has so many more natural properties and I want to use it in my water while it is filling. So. You'll see me pouring it into the water and that'll help to let that salt really dissolve and get into the water. And I just love this salt because um, like it just has such a natural smell to it. Okay, now up next, I am using my bath bombs and these bath bombs are made with coconut oil. So this will help to provide some type of moisture into that water. Once my bath bombs have dissolved, you'll see me start lighting those candles just to get that vibe going. And you see where the bath bombs and the salt have completely dissolved and that water is turning a pretty blush pink color. All right, it is bath caddy time, and y'all know I love my bath caddy. And I'll use this bath caddy to start placing the things that I want to use in my tub, like that extended brush. Um, I really love that. It's great for your back um, and other areas of your body. I'll also include this loofah, and you'll see me loosening that loofah up. I love to pull at them. They just continue to grow in size, and it helps to really exfoliate your skin. And last, you'll see me add a thermal mask there, and that is great for the areas around your eyes and on your face. Now, can't forget your water. Salt definitely helps to pull the toxins out of your body, so you need to always add in more hydration and, and keep your body hydrated. So that's what the water is for. But it would not be a girlfriend or a rat bath without <laughs> what? Champagne. Y'all know we do champagne. We do it big. We celebrate. We toast to life. And that is what this bath is for. Reflection and to really just help with all the things and all the stress. Now, the second star of my bath are these pink Himalayan bath rocks. And I really love these. They're so pretty. They can be used. They have multiple uses. But I am going to use them not only around the edge of my tub, but also in my hands to rub on my body during the bath and just to help create that sense of purification in the air. I really love those. And you'll see I started to line those around the edge of the tub and I pretty much put them in every open space that I could find because that's how many rocks I had. I had a lot of these. And I also put them, you know, a little bit on my bath caddy, wherever you wanna place them. 
Now, the next thing I want to go ahead and do is add in these soap based flowers. These flowers are in the shapes of roses, but they are completely 100% soap. And so you'll see me kind of open them up and push them into the water. And then what'll happen is they'll begin to quickly dissolve into the water and create this beautiful foam based soap almost like a bubble bath i love these flowers shout out to the person who gave me these flowers they knew i would use this in my bath one day and so i really love them and i really appreciate the beauty of these soap flowers how unique and you'll see they're already starting to dissolve into that water and we'll get a beautiful foam shortly that any girl would love in a bathtub who doesn't love a foamy bubble bath style tub and yeah, I mean, there you have it. It's not much to it. Look at the beautiful foam. The soap has dissolved. The salt rocks are all around. My candles are burning. My champagne is bubbling. The vibe is going. And now I do want to point out, you see all those candles that I have? Disclaimer. Y'all put those candles in places where you will not burn your hair or your hands, okay? Don't come DM me, DMing me and telling me, oh, um, my hair caught on fire because I put the candles around the tub. I didn't tell you to do that. I told you to put them in a safe area. And you see, I do have those in the votive candle holders. And look how beautiful and majestic this bath is in the dark. Cut your lights off. Get the vibe going. Enjoy your me time. Take a sip of that champagne. Reflect on life. And just rub those rocks in your hands and they will dissolve. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. As always, I love talking to you girls. I love bringing new stuff for you. And I hope that you enjoy some me time for yourself. I love how beautiful this bath is. And I hope you inspired somebody today. I'll talk to you soon, girl. Peace.